What's up guys? We're about to unbox February's BAM box. You ready, Mix? Ready! BAM! Let's do it! All right guys, this is February's BAM box and the theme is 90s, which I like, you like. I like the 80s a bit better, but I'm a fan of the 90s. I'm hoping <laughs> there's a Kurt Cobain figure in here. Probably isn't, judging yes, by the size of it. <laughs> if I had a subscription box company and I had a 90s theme, I would go buy all, I would buy a thousand Kurt Cobain figures from eBay Everyone would get one and then I would go out of business, but everyone <laughs> would have loved that first and last box From the rock box subscription wouldn't they they would love it I need that Kurt Cobain figure too myself so that would work out all right So what do we know about the BAM box while well, trusty rusty oh, and I yeah. get it open the BAM box is $26.99 with $7.99 shipping to the US and $14.99 shipping to Canada and they have autographed items in every box. Sometimes they have extra autographed items in some boxes or maybe just in all the boxes. They like to keep you on your toes and change it up. So it's always a surprise. All right, let's see if we are surprised by what is in the 90s box. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, get rid of the black paper. Now you can see stuff. What? I like taking the pin first because that's how it used to be Yeah. all the time. The pin was first, you didn't see anything else. I miss that, I say it every time, don't care, gonna keep saying it until you change that back, <laughs> where I only see the pin first. And it is, what's that mix? It's a water gun, I think. <laughs> yeah, super soaker. A super soaker, yeah, <laughs> from the 90s. Theme, 90s. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's just got the big green water tank on top and then yellow for the gun and then like the barrel sticking out. <laughs> I used to use these quite a bit. Me too. I had a few of them. Me too, even though I probably this wasn't exact really one. young enough to be using them, but I did anyway. <laughs> I was a child when I had all mine. All right, so that's a cool addition to my pin collection. Yes, it's growing. You can't have it either. You can't have any of my pins. You should have your own pin collection. It could just be dragon pins. But it would be. They'd be all like... And there'd be one supernatural pin, maybe. Maybe. All right. Yeah. You don't want the, you don't want the Winchester's pins? Yeah, I would have any supernatural <laughs> pin. I would go with that. You could have a Chevy Impala pin. I would totally, I would like to have that, yeah. That'd be cool. Mix has a little Hot Wheels of the Chevy Impala, yeah. the Winchester's <laughs> Drive. I think that was sort of like a Loot Crate or something. All right, you can't say Loot Crate when we're doing Bam Box, Mix. Bleep it out. Just pick one. Oh, what's this? I don't know what's in here. I see a TY thing, so I'm like. Is that a Beanie Baby? I think so. Hold on. Beanie see? Babies are from the 90s. Definitely. Oh my God, I had a friend who had, she had like thousands of them, maybe not thousands. But what? So it's a little bear. I never had any it, Beanie Babies. They're like weird shaped. Is, it, <laughs> is there any significance to this one? Or I don't know. He's do just we a just bear. get a random Beanie Baby? He's just a random bear. What? Who is it? Uh, His Cubby. Name should be in there. Cubby? Style 4010. Didn't they used to have like more stuffing in them or were they just like. It's old, Mix. This is actually from the 90s. <laughs> it's probably been played with. I don't know. There's like, there's a lot of space in them. <laughs> it's been washed a few times. He's got a cute little face. I he think does. Cyan's gonna steal this guy immediately. Well, definitely. Uh huh. And I kind of like him actually. He's, I've never had a Beanie Baby. He's actually pretty cute. Beanie Baby. Be honest, Mix. You don't know what to say about a bean baby. <laughs> uh, I know that he used to eat crackers and honey. What happened to him oh. was funny. He was stung by 14 bees. Now he eats broccoli and cheese. I stand corrected. You had all the things to say <laughs> about a beanie baby. He looks sad the way he said. I don't know what to think about that. Having a beanie baby in the He doesn't the box. know what to think either. Look how sad he looks. <laughs> it was a big collectible from the 90s. So it was yeah. crazy. I guess it, I guess it fits the theme. Okay. I like him a little bit actually. Okay, what's Next item. Big thing. This will definitely be a print okay, or a, it's a print or poster, but it's probably poster size if it's in that thing. What yeah, is? Like, oh my God! What <laughs> the Bayside funny. Brawl? I watched. <laughs> I not only watched all the Saved by the Bell back when it was on. I then watched it again, like not too long ago. But yeah, I watched that show too. Uh, That's pretty cool. I would rewatch them all again right now. AC Slater versus Zach Morris, direct from Ringside. So it's just a fun poster they yeah. put together, I think. That's not the real bodies, is it? Looks like they photoshopped their heads on the <laughs> poster. Slater would probably not photo. have a hairy belly. How do you know that? What? Yeah, how do you? You I were looking that, that closely <laughs> to Slater? I just assume with like how he is. You're in so much trouble after this video. 
I can just hear him calling Zach Preppy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Stay by the Bell. Plus additional thrilling fights featuring oh, Kelly Kapowski, cool. Jesse Spano, Lisa Turtle versus Screech cool. Powers. Yeah, Lisa and Screech, I can see that. What is the actor's name who played Screech? Uh, Dustin Diamond. He, he went quite a different yeah, way with his yep, career. Yeah, he really did. He did. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't actually know if we'll hang this, but it's cool. It's cool, yeah. I probably, as much as I love Pretty Saved nice. by the Bell, I probably won't hang that up. But I do like the little fight thing. There's, a, there's a signature on it. Is that his signature? Oh. What's what's his act, What's the actor's name who played him? I should know his name, <laughs> but it's like, it is not coming to me. He was in another show you watched too, right? Yeah, that... And I can't even think of the name of that show. I'm just well, okay. like drawing like that long, show. <laughs> Does it start with J? Because that looks like a J. I don't know. Why, do Why I else would they have a signature there? Yeah. On that side, too. That's cool yeah. that it's signed. We'll find I'm, out in the spoiler book. What I have, makes... Why can I not remember that? Let's move it along. How do I remember Dustin Diamond and not Zach's name? I'll tell you why. Because of where he went with his career afterwards. Eek. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Family friendly show we have here. Go. Ooh, Pick what's something. This? Anything shiny. Boston Creative Company. Okay. What is it? I, I, can't, I can't see what it is. The fact that it's a spoon, it's I'm a like, spoon? it's a spoon, but it says, no soup for you. No. Oh. <laughs> the soup Nazi spoon. The soup Nazi spoon. That's funny. It's no just printed you. on there, I think. Yeah. Is it like actually engraved in there or is it printed? Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that, man. Because I'm thinking, where am I gonna put this spoon? Yeah, what do you do with this? What do you do with a spoon? Do you like display it, or are you supposed to use it? Yeah, you hang it like your grandmother would. Yeah, in like a little spoon rack. <laughs> yeah. My mom actually collects. Spoons my grandma like that. might even have one of those. <laughs> nice. All right. No well, soup we'll, for we'll you. send that to your grandmother or my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom will probably be offended. We mean no soup for me, Jason. <laughs> All right, next item mix. Get it out of there. Looks like a hockey puck. This is signed MR. Oh! What? It, it's from Mighty Ducks. This official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Averman in the Mighty Ducks oh, nice. movie franchise. <laughs> That's funny. During a private signing with the Ben Box. So oh, cool. it has a little picture of that dude. I like that they would include like a little picture with the COA. In it. Yeah, and they it's said it's cool. a, a private signing with the. A private box. signing with the band box. I watched all those movies. I like those. So a hockey puck. I was wondering if there's any logo or anything on the other side of the puck, but it's just bam, says bam. Bam stick. <laughs> bam stick on the other side. They should have one up pucks with Emilio's signature on it. Yes. I would like. Oh, that, that would have been awesome. That would have been so awesome. Yeah. Or even Joshua Jackson. Emilio would be better. Emilio obviously would be better. And a Young Guns item too? That would be awesome. Oh you wait, we're getting off track You now. need to watch that with me, I haven't seen it. She hasn't seen Young Guns, or Young Guns too. What the? All right, no more, just the spoiler booklet. And Another an, an extra COA card. <laughs> just in case. The spoiler booklet is authenticated. Oh, maybe this goes to the uh, poster. Oh, okay. get to it, Mix. So I like that it's all Saved by the Bell on the front. Too bad Slater wasn't on the cover. They're not going to tell me his name. It's going to bother mm -hmm. me. Okay, let's yeah. start at the beginning. <laughs> yes, that's... Bam parody pins. There were also <laughs> high top sneakers and... Oh. What are these that's little cool. guys? Like little Furby. Furbies? Yeah, oh, that's cool. Things. So the um, the more rare pin that they do the limited edition every ones month are is, the... Uh, is the high top. Yeah. Nice. Beanie Babies from the 90s, common and rares. Are rares. there rare Beanie Babies anymore? Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes valued okay. at $50 or more. So I don't know which one that would be. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's that one that's still worth 50 bucks, okay? <laughs> Official size hockey puck signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Averman. That's cool. You, you got Emilio in my head now, though. That would have been awesome. I okay. know, All right? right? Keep it going. The uh, celebrity fight match, 11 by 17 posters. Oh, there's what? one what for happened? the showdown in cyberspace. Agent Smith versus what? Mr. Anderson, oh, aka that's Neo. Cool. I like that. And then the oh, other one is cool. um, Austin Powers and Doctor Evil. I like the Matrix one, but yeah. I really like. I think I would prefer the Save by the Bell one. That's cool. Yeah, it's more of a laugh. Oh, all are numbered and signed by creator Josh Lamont. So Creator? Yeah, not signed he's by... The, he's the Photoshop artist? Yeah. <laughs> Is it signed by the Photoshop artist? <laughs> it would be a lot better if it was signed by Zach Why was it Lamont? over to the side, under Zach? I don't know. Bugging me, I can't remember that guy's name. <laughs> the No Soup For You Spoon. You're pushing your luck, little man. And then it has the Soup Nazi. Next month's theme, Indestructible. All right. What was your favorite mix out of everything we got in February's BAM box? The theme was 90s. I think I'm going to go with the poster because I like the same by the dudes. Because Josh signed it. Is his name Josh? Was that what it was? I think so. <laughs> oh, it's Mark something. 
Mark. Is it? Gosh, Goshner? Mark Gosner? The guy who signed Mark Gosner. It? No. <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head. <laughs> well, good job, Mix. Mark. Good Mark job Goss remembering. Mark Paul Gosler. Okay. It's something like that. All right. Good job. <laughs> Anyway, so this was your favorite? That's my favorite. All right. Are you going to put it in a frame? No. Or are you going to crop out Slater and just use that above your desk? Maybe just, maybe I'll just cut out Zach. I'm going to Photoshop a picture of me in there in place of Slater. Yeah? You versus Zach? Yeah. All right. But I'm going to, I'm going to keep the abs that are already there. <laughs> and it's hairy belly? <laughs> yeah. My favorite would have to be, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the pin. Yeah. I like it that it's a super soaker. and. I like getting pins. You do like getting to my pins pin now. So. It's funny because back in the day of like buttons and stuff in the subscription boxes, we made <laughs> so much of fun buttons. of yeah. pins. Yeah, I don't like the but the printed buttons because well, this a pin is cool. Yeah, there's more yeah. art to it. But these now things. you were always like, we'll make a tapestry of yeah. all our I didn't know what to do with pins. Them. But then yeah, I started to get they're, they're cool really ones. cool ones. Bam box, Johnny Tejas, Butcher Vision. They all did it for me. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know what your favorite was from the BAM box 1990s theme. And while you're down there, if you see an icon that looks a little something like this, click it and give us a thumbs up, right, Mix? Right. And what else? Subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We will probably do the BAM box again next month. And we have a lot of stuff we are going to be doing in March in between the next BAM box. Why are you laughing, Mix? Because the pile is really big. If you want to get your own BAM box, the link is in the description below. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. You guys, the BAM box and the 90s rock.